Hi everyone, it's Sandra and I have some leaves that Landon collected up for me um, in the fall before we had some rain to wet them down. These are leaves from our BC Spartan apple tree. I wanted Landon to keep these apple leaves separate because I want to test how quickly they will compost down in a worm bin. Apple leaves have something in common with maple leaves. Both these leaves are extremely low in lignin. Lignin is a compound that the higher the concentration in either leaves or other plant materials, the slower it's going to break down in either a compost and I think a vermicompost system as well. In an upcoming worm science video, I'm going to break down exactly why lignin does this and how it affects the bioavailability of carbon, how it uh, consumes nitrogen in its decomposition. So obviously the lower the lignin content, the less nitrogen it's going to consume out of your worm bin, and also the nutrients that it allows to be added to the mix, to the final product, whether that be compost or vermicompost, when it's fully broken down. Here's a diagram showing the decomposition of lignin. Bacteria lack the enzyme to break down lignin, but fungi have that enzyme. Therefore, it needs the slower acting fungal decomposition to break down leaves that are high in lignin. To my luck, apple leaves are low in lignin, so I'm expecting these leaves to decompose quite quickly. So anyway, that's a future worm science video, but right now I have to get these into some rainwater because they're super crunchy. This bin was recently harvested and uh, I can see lots of worms on top. And I gave the bin apple leaves for bedding. So let's get into the apple leaves and see how they're doing. I guess I'm gonna just use this mailer just like this to put stuff to one side. That's kind of how I do it. Use the topping to move things to one side so I can get back into it. So let's just start pulling this off and take a look at the apple leaves and how the worms are enjoying them. Like I said, these apple leaves have a lower lignin content, so they should disappear faster than other leaves. And I guess I really need to set up a comparison to see, but I just thought, well, let's just take a look and see how the worms are doing. See lots of castings building up in between the leaves. The leaves themselves are no longer crunchy. They're suitably moistened. Love the black color that you get from vermicompo in vermicompost when you use leaves. And not only the black color, but the very rich colors of the worms when you use leaves as bedding. I mean, just gorgeous, uh, deep red worms. It's gotta be the pigmentation in the leaves coming through in the worms. When you use cardboard, your vermicompost comes out, you know, slightly cardboard colored and the worms have a lot more pale bodies in my experience. I did a, a test on that years ago. And uh, that's what I found is the uh, worms raised totally in leaves have a richer, deeper coloration. So these leaves, I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a lot of castings building up here in amongst these leaves. And I assume it's coming from the leaves because uh, I didn't put that much food in here. And so that's really good that they seem to be going through these leaves quickly. So stay to the end and I will come back and show you what it looks like at the next check-in. Okay, I'll see you in a couple seconds, but for me, it's gonna be something like a couple weeks. It's one month to the day since I put those apple leaves in here. So I just peeled back the bubble wrap and I saw some apple leaves still visible on the surface, which isn't surprising because they weren't exposed on all sides to the action, the microbial action. 
but uh, the material is lovely and soft and feels more like castings. Definitely a few apple leaves visible. Anyway, I thought I would just do this uh, practical examination of what uh, lignin content could mean for composting, vermicomposting of leaves. Apple leaves, I, as I mentioned, are low in lignin, therefore should compost down faster. So for any of you worried about putting leaves in your bins that they're going to hang around a long time, the uh, apple leaves have mostly been converted into castings. And what you're seeing there is some eggshell powder still in the castings. So anyway, that's what lignin can do for your composting speed. And as we know, worms love leaves. All right, everyone. Bye for now.